Hi, my name is Scott Colston. I'm here today to show the installation video for the Ross 150 roof vent. The Ross 150 roof vent comes in one, one per box. We provided a template for easy installation. We'll get started on the install. We've now cut the template. Now we just need to place it in between the roof rafters. And then we'll cut our hole to install the Ross 150 roof vent. Now that we've marked where the vent is to be placed on the roof today, and we've cut the roofing alignment, it's now time to cut the hole in the deck. A square hole is a lot easier to cut than a round hole. Make sure that you are uh, getting the opening over the hole. Install a nail in the corner. Slide the net up. Ensure that it's straight and you're over the hole. For coastal approval or high wind water areas, a bead of caulk on the underside of the vent is recommended. Once you have the vent in place, an inch and a quarter roofing nail you can use to adhere the vent to the deck and the pre-punched nail holes. Unlike competitors' products, the Ross 150, you can push the dome in to adhere your nails inside. Don't move right back. Now with the vent secured to the roof deck, you shingle as you normally would. We next pre-cut our shingle to go around the top of the vent and around the cricket. shingle down. After you cut the top shingle and formed it around the Cricut and the Ross 150, just shingle up as normal. Final step is to secure all holes, put a dab of caulk on the uh, nail holes, Your installation of the Ross 150 is complete. Visit us at rossmfg.com.